Hi, so here we have problem which is sent by Zaheen. So in this problem, we have to find the area of the shaded region where ABCD is a parallelogram and EFGH are the midpoints. So E is a midpoint of AB, F is a midpoint of BC and G is a midpoint of CD and H is a midpoint of DA. So if any of you also have any problem for which you need a solution, you can send your problem to the number shown below. I'll try to solve it and if it is worth making a video I'll make a video also for that problem so ABCD is a parallelogram and this is a problem where we have to find the area of the shaded region so if you remember the formula to find the area of a parallelogram was equal to base multiplied by height so if I take DC as base and draw a perpendicular from point A to DC or point B to extend it DC, the length of that perpendicular will be the height of the parallelogram. And at the same time, if I take BC as the base of the parallelogram, then its height will actually be the length of the perpendicular from point A to BC or point D to extended BC. And while solving this problem, we will also use the area of the triangle. So the formula to find the area of of a triangle is 1 by 2 base multiplied by height. So if I take base as DC and height as H, the length of the perpendicular from point A to DC, then the area of parallelogram ABC will be equal to length DC multiplied by height. This will also be equal to if I take BC as the base and if I assume the length of perpendicular from point A to base BC is H1, then DC multiplied by H will be equal to BC multiplied by H1 where I have taken base as BC and height as H1. Okay. And now if I talk about the area of triangle BGC, area of triangle BGC, BGC will be equal to 1 by 2 base. Base is GC which is equal to half of DC. So DC by 2 multiplied by the height or the length of perpendicular from point B to DC that is H. So this is equal to DC multiplied by H by 4. So area of this triangle BGC is actually 1 fourth of the parallelogram right and the area of triangle BGC will be equal to area of triangle DAE because AE is half of AB which is equal to DC. Opposite sides of a parallelogram are equal and height of this triangle will also be same as the height of triangle BGC. So these two areas will also be equal and at the same time these two areas will be equal to the area of triangle ABF and this will be equal to area of triangle DHC. So the area of this triangle is equal to area of this triangle which is equal to area of this triangle and that is equal to area of this triangle. So this much is clear if I name these points as P, Q, R, S and now if I talk about triangle C, P, D, C, P, let me draw this triangle over here. So this is a triangle something like this. This is C, this is P and this is D and CD has a midpoint G and then this S is a point over here. This S will be a midpoint of side CP of this triangle because SG is parallel to DP, right? See here, when I am joining this point D with this point E and this point G with this point B, this D, E, B, G will be a parallelogram because these two sides are already parallel and they are equal also. So other two sides which I have drawn in orange will also be parallel and equal. So if I draw a line parallel to PD from the midpoint of CD, it will divide the line CP into two equal parts. That means CS will be equal to SP. So SG is equal to 1 by 2 PD. At the same time, if I consider the height of triangle SCG as H1 and the height of the triangle CPD as H, H1 which is the height of triangle CSG will be half of the height of triangle CSG. CPD. And now if I talk about the area of triangle CSG, this will be 1 by 2. Base is 
SG multiplied by H1 and SG is equal to 1 by 2 PD. So this will be equal to PD by 2 multiplied by H1 is also equal to half of the height of triangle CPD. So H by 2 or you can say area of triangle CSG is actually equal to one fourth of the area of triangle CPD, right? Because this much is the area of triangle CPD, 1 by 2 PD into H. So if I assume the area of triangle CSG as X, the remaining area, that means the area of this quadrilateral DPSG will be equal to 3X because the total area of triangle CPD is 4 times X. And similarly, here also, this will be X and and this will be 3x and same logic can be applied over here also if I assume the area of triangle DPH as Y the area of quadrilateral AHPQ will be 3 times Y and this will also be Y and this will be equal to 3 times Y okay and as earlier we have discussed area of triangle BGC that is this triangle is equal to area of triangle ABF that is this triangle that means Y plus 3Y plus X is equal to X plus 3X plus y 3x plus y right so from here the single y will cancel this single y and the single x will cancel this single x or we can say 3y is equal to 3x or x is equal to y right so we have proved x is equal to y and now let's talk about the area of parallelogram p q r s see here e p g d is a parallelogram so the area of parallelogram e b g d is actually equal to half of the area of parallelogram a b c d our original parallelogram because both of them have same height but base d g is half of base d c so the area of parallelogram e b GD will be half of the area of parallelogram ABCD and this will be equal to the area of triangle AED plus area of triangle BGC. So the area of triangle AED will be X plus 3Y plus Y and we know X is equal to Y so it is actually equal to 3 plus 1 4 plus 1 5 X and similarly area of triangle GCB is also equal to 5 X. 5 X plus 5 X is equal to 10 X. So here we have 3x and here we have 3x. So the remaining which is the area of PQRS will be equal to 4x. So now we can easily find the ratio of shaded region to the rest of the parallelogram. So shaded region is equal to 4, 5, 6, 7, 8x and the area of total parallelogram is 5 plus 5, 10 plus 10. 20x right so the ratio is actually equal to x will cancel this x 4 2 is 8 4 5 is 20 so the ratio is 2 is to 5 and the question which was sent by Zahin the area of the parallelogram was actually equal to 140 square centimeters so the area of shaded region will be 2 fifth of 140 centimeter squares and this will be equal to 2 by 5 of 140 5 ones are 5 5 twos are 10 5 eights are 40 so this will be equal to 28 multiplied by 2 which is 56 square centimeters so this is specific to that particular problem but in general if you get a drawing like this where you have to find the area of the shaded region then the ratio of the areas of shaded region and the parallelogram will be 2 is to 5 so this is how you will solve this problem so that's all for this video keep watching MathSmart subscribe to it and if you have any doubt you can always ask me on this given number and yes bye bye till then